This is the book of Psalms, chapter 94 and verse 16. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, much respect to the brothers pushing the gospel scattered abroad among the four corners of the earth, searching and seeking whether the lost sheep of the house of Israel, uh, those of them who are gathering faith for a treasure. Uh, again, the hopeful one to elect of our people to be delivered out of these troubles in these last and evil days. Um, I want to give a, a special shout out to our brother Amawan, Gaba Amawan Abad. Uh, he's a faithful warrior and mighty man in, in the faith, a warrior for the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Come And we, again, like I said, we, we love you, brother. Love you, no, brother. And, and, we, and we keep you in our prayers. Uh, and pray that, you know, that, 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 hey, the most high, like the scripture says, he that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. And, 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 and the same goes for all the brothers, all the elders, all the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who are the pushing, pushing this gospel in sincereness and in truth. All you brothers waking up the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And I got to say this too while I'm at it. Uh, there has been times that, um, many questions that I've had. Uh, since I've been, uh, since the Most High has, has awakened me to this truth, and there is not a question that I've had wherein the Most High has not answered my question through you guys. And I do believe through the faith and the power and spirit of the Most High Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kakodash, that you brothers do indeed have the 100% truth. Because all my questions, every question I've ever had concerning the faith, concerning this truth since I've been awake, they've all been answered. They've all been answered perfectly. In the spirit, <coughs> all praise is done to the Most High Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Kakodash for you brothers. And again, we say Shalom. Shalom. Okay, uh, I'm a uh, I'm a, a warrior. Ali Yahweh is my brother Raphael Yasharala. Uh, again, like I said, it, it, it's true the blessing you know to, to, to be awakened in these last and evil days. You know, as uh, the Scripture says uh, in in, uh, in uh, John chapter six and verse forty four. Uh, no man cometh unto me except for the Father which has sent me, draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. And this is truly a blessing. Come. You know, and this is a, you know, a real blessing, you know, uh, to be awake and now knowing the truth of who we are, mainly and most importantly, who our power is, Yahweh, and who our salvation is, Come. Yahweh Shai. You know, and so with that, without further ado, we're going to get into this video, uh, bring out the precepts uh, which the most high Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kakodashi, put up on my brother Raphael. To bring out to put together this video and again like i said uh to you we say shalom and again this video is for them who have not yet heard the truth uh we pray that the most high has given them i will give them eyes to see and ears to hear and a heart of understanding and repentance and raise them up at the last day uh, according to the scripture john 6 and 44 as we just brought out okay with that out hey come on you, man yeah the most high you have by shimmy have a shot for the spirit of both me and i'll cure you and hey, look, and these false prophets, you know, these false prophets come with all these lies. Mm -hmm. And it pisses me off. Huh. The spirit of the most high is upon us. Mm -hmm. And and I can't hold back I can't hold back my peace. Huh. So today we're gonna we're going to um expose these false prophets. Mm -hmm. And the most of our people, the Israelites, don't know the Israelites. Huh. They constantly run into the Edomites. Mm -hmm. These damn red dragons, man. Mm -hmm. I'm pissed off right now. You know? Uh, so we're going to expose the Edomites mm -hmm. first. And then we're going to get to the wicked Jakes. Mm -hmm. Come on. These wicked Israelites. Come on. The wicked two-thirds of our people. And those of them of our people uh, who don't know uh, what, what uh, who these Edomites are. The Ed Edomites are the so-called, is the biblical name of the so-called white man. Esau Edom. Uh, the, the the devil that the Bible speaks of, and as, as we get into these these prophecies, as these prophecies come to pass, as these troubles come upon us, and as they increase, a lot of our people are going to find out the hard way. And again, like I said, that that's been a theme with our people uh, from from generation to generation. They they've always we've always been the rebellious, stout-hearted, stiff-necked, disobedient, rebellious people. 
who has to learn the hard way, who has to find out the hard way rather than listening to the voice of the servants of the prophets of the Most High, the men whom the Most High has raised up in these last and evil days out in the street corners and the highways and hedges, bringing forth the gospel as it is written, as it is as it, as it is written, as the Most High Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai put His Spirit upon these brothers to bring out these to bring out these the the, 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 the true gospel as it is written that has nothing absolutely positively nothing to do with Christianity, plantation slave doctrine. In these search, Sunday worship temples, I, I just had to say that I come. On. That's, mm -hmm. That was perfect. It was yeah. perfect because that's, what, that's exactly what we about to get into. Mm -hmm. It was perfect, God. I'll right. pray to you, by Shimon Abu Shai. We're gonna start with these Edomites. Mm -hmm. Edomite lovers. Mm -hmm. You understand? Come. On. Come. On. The first five prophets. Before we get into the wicked Israelite, mm -hmm. we're gonna start with the Edomites. Come. On. I'm gonna name a few. Mm -hmm. Which would be John Hagee, mm -hmm. David Jeremiah, uh -huh. Joel, the freak, Osteen, uh -huh. uh -huh. the Edomites. Mm -hmm. The most I tell you in Hebrew 12, 16 and 17, mm -hmm. how you feel about the Edomites. Uh -huh. The, the most high you how about Shimei was shy, he tells you how you feel about the Edomites uh -huh. in Malachi 1 and 3. Mm -hmm. He uh -huh. also tell you. In Romans 9 and 13. Come. How you feel about the Edomites. Come. Come. But when they show them on TV. Mm -hmm. Guess who set up in their churches. Sending them tithes and offering and donations. Mm -hmm. Them wicked ass Jakes. Yep. The wicked two thirds of our people. Two thirds of our people. And when we say Jake. Jake is, a, Jake is short for Jacob. Because we are the seed of Jacob. Uh, the uh, the uh, 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Uh, the so called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans. We make up the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. So anytime you hear uh, myself and, and, and Brother Raphael and any of the prophets uh, who are out in the street corners teaching in the highways and hedges, mention of the, mention, uh, called, uh, speak, uh, mention the word Jake, it is short for Jacob because we make up the 12 tribes of the lost sheep of the house of Israel, whose name was Jacob before uh, the Most High put upon him to wrestle with his angel, you know, and his name was changed from Jacob to Israel. Come so on. we make up the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. 12 tribes. Okay, go ahead. I just thought I, I thought you You're doing you perfect. I love it. You're doing it perfect. Come perfect. On. Just like all, I like it. All praise to the Most High. Yeah, how, the Most High has a bonus, man. You wicked ass Jakes. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. we're going to go. We're going to show you that, that these Edomites, mm -hmm. Most High ain't got nothing to do with. Absolutely. We ain't going to use our own words. Come on. Like you, they teach you in Christianity land. Mm -hmm. Everything y'all teaching, learning Christianity land, mm -hmm. it ain't in the scriptures. No, it has nothing to do nothing with Nothing to do with the God. scriptures. Nothing to do with the scriptures. And may the most high destroy y'all. Mm -hmm. Unless you repent. He said, all likewise perish according to the scriptures. What is it, Luke, Luke uh, 13, I forget what chapter, what verse it is. But like I said, we'll look it up later. But unless you, except you repent, he said, all likewise perish. Okay, so with that, I want me to go ahead and start reading. Start on uh, Psalm, Psalms 94. No. Yeah, okay, we're going to start. Start with Psalm 94 and 16. We're going to start over, and then we're going to drop down to Psalm 50. Come. Come. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 94, and verse 16. Again, it says, Who will rise up for me against the evildoers, or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Who will. Who will rise up against, who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Mm -hmm. Raphael and Uriel will. Come on, and all the other brothers and all the other apostles and elders, all the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Again, whom, whom we believe have the 100% truth as it is written. And uh, no other doctrine, um, no other doctrine that's been preached, especially in these Sunday worship temples. Uh, in these Sunday, again, like I said, these, these Sunday worship temples, wherein the Most High dwelleth not. Uh, again, it, 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 what's being taught in these buildings, it has absolutely nothing to do with the scriptures. Again, like, like we, uh, we, we brought it in a video last week, uh, everything that's taught in these Sunday worship temples is against the Holy Scriptures. And again, like I said, it, it has absolutely nothing to do with thus said Lord Yahweh. Hashem Yahweh Shai. Again, Yahweh, 
being our power, which means he to be, he is, Yahweh Shai, he is the deliverer, which is our savior. Okay, so again, Christianity plantation slave doctrine has absolutely nothing to do with the Holy Scriptures. It teaches you again how to be more wicked and abominable and reverse. Okay, so it's like y'all, I'm aiming it. Let's come on. Hey, that's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. All about the spirit, man. How yeah. the spirit moves. Yeah. Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Mm -hmm. The true men of the most high is yeah. going to stand up against the workers of iniquity. God. Yeah. All these lying pastors, these mm -hmm. false prophets, mm -hmm. the most high ain't sent. Yeah. We're going to expose y'all wicked ass today. Mm -hmm. You know, this is for the lost sheep of the house of Israel, mm -hmm. which is the 12 tribes. Mm -hmm. Consist of the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native Americans mm -hmm. who hadn't heard this word yet. Mm -hmm. We will rise up and, uh -huh. and speak the truth of the Most High, Yahweh by Shimmy, Yahweh Shai, uh -huh. by these wicked false prophets. Because uh -huh. they've been feeding our people nothing but lies. Leading our people straight to the slaughter. Straight to the slaughterhouse, straight, straight, to, the straight slaughter. to death and destruction. Not putting difference between clean and unclean. Come as you are. Uh, God loved the sinner and hates the sin. Again, like I said, these things are not written in the scriptures, man. Again, like I said, a lot of our people in these Sunday worship temples, they're, uh, they're paying for their own destruction. They're robbing our people blind, you know, for the hard-earned money, which, which, which we're going to find out too in these last few days. It, it, it's no, no more than fiat currency, no more than monopoly money. It, it, it's nothing. It's worthless. And so again, like I said, but that, though, the thing, that, that which our people labor for throughout the week, you know, they find themselves, you know, again, in binds, you know, uh, 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 you know, lacking, you know, that which they need in order to pay, you know, electricity bills, you know, phone bills, buy food and whatnot, pay water bills, you know, phone bills or whatever, you know, because you're giving all your money to these wicked pastors who don't give a damn about you because see, they know they're teaching you lies. They know that they're, they, they know that they're leading you. Into a burning building. They know that you. They, they they know that they're leading you as sheep to the slaughter. Come. They know these things, but yet our people again. The sad part about it is, you know, even though they're teaching you these false doctrines, they're feeding you these lies and deceit. These these prosperity doctrines, these prosperity teachings and whatnot. You're still gonna pay. You're still gonna be destroyed because they led you astray. They're gonna be destroyed too. But because you believe in it and this doctrine that they're teaching in these Sunday worship temples, you're gonna you're gonna die a horrible death. You're gonna be destroyed. Rightfully so. Mm -hmm. Rightfully so. Come, on. come, on. because you believe not the truth, and you won't read. You won't read. You, 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 know, so. you won't open the Bible. The same scriptures, the same Bibles that we're reading out of, the same Bibles that the servants, the prophets of the Most High, on these street corners out there reading every week. During the week. May the most high destroy y'all ass so y'all don't repent. The same May the most high God, Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, Shai, Come. destroy y'all wicked ass. Come man. Man. That's what's coming. Death and destruction is coming your way. You tired of playing with y'all. The home. same Bibles that are laying dormant in your houses, wherever you dwell, wherever your dwelling place may be, these same Bibles, the same words written in these same Bibles, that these, same, these prophets, the, the apostles and elders, a great millstone and all the brothers who are coming after the teaching. It's the same Bible. They're gonna be looking for the them when that day come. They're gonna be looking mm -hmm. for them. Yeah. We ain't, hey look at him. Mm -hmm. Hey look all. What we gonna do? Go ahead and pull Psalms fifty mm -hmm. and start at verse fifteen and read it through verse sixteen. Come It's real. You 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 wicked ass niggas, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, people are wicked. Too playing with y'all, man. Mm -hmm. You know, well, the only thing we care about is one third whole feet late. The hell with the rest, you two thirds. Come. The hell okay. with y'all. Like the scripture said, unless you repent, we should all likewise perish. Unless you repent, I forgot to say that. Unless you repent. But if you don't repent, the hell with you. Mm -hmm. you the hell a, with you. A horrible. And may you have death. a may you have a horrible and a painful death. If you don't death. repent. Because the most high is not playing. He's not playing with us, y'all. Plain and simple. So this is the book of Psalms, chapter 50, verse 16. But unto the wicked, God said. But unto the wicked. Mm -hmm. Who is the wicked, Israel? Mm -hmm. When I say Israel, I'm talking to the so-called blacks, the so-called Hispanics, and the so-called Native Americans. So mm -hmm. you won't get this confused with who, who, well, look, who I'm talking to. Mm -hmm. Read up. What has thou to do to declare my statutes? What did thou do to declare my statutes? 
or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth. Thou shouldest take thy covenant in thy mouth. Seeing thou hatest instruction and Read castest on. my words behind thee. Okay, pause there. Mm -hmm. Who is the wicked, Israel? The wicked, Psalm 50 and 16, but mm -hmm. unto the wicked, God said, mm -hmm. What have thou to do to declare my statutes or that thou should take thy covenant in thy mouth? Mm -hmm. Who is the wicked? Mm -hmm. If you go to Job 9 and 24, mm -hmm. A, it explains itself. Mm -hmm. Who called the shots on the earth? And who's in rulership? Who's mm -hmm. in rulership? Whose name, whose face is on the money today? Whose face is on the money? Who is it? If you go in the deeper, it'll tell you, you could even go to Psalm 17 and 41, mm -hmm. Job 21 and 7 to verse 15, mm -hmm. and Job 12, verse 16, verse 6 to 10. Mm -hmm. Go through it and read it. Look, the so-called white race, the Edomite race. Mm -hmm. That's who the wicked is. Mm -hmm. So saying all that to say this, if John Hagee, David mm -hmm. Jeremiah, and Joe Osteen is an Edomite. Rod Parsley. Yeah, Rod Parsley. He mm -hmm. one of the main ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I forgot about him. Joseph Prince. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The most mm -hmm. handsome. They, they don't even have any business using this Bible coming out between 18. Mm-hmm. So with that, let me read verse 50. Let me read 50, Psalm 15 and 16 again. Go ahead and read. Okay, so this is the book of Psalms, chapter 15, verse 16. But unto the wicked, God said, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? It ain't got nothing to do with y'all. Nothing. It ain't got nothing to do with you damn dirty ass dog heathens. Mm -hmm. Especially you, Esau, eat them. Mm -hmm. Look. Y'all want to take everything we got. Mm -hmm. Y'all rob, y'all rape, y'all murder, y'all pillage. Y'all steal and take everything mm -hmm. from us. What the scripture say? Uh, the devil coming but the steal, steal kill, kill, and destroy. destroy. Look, you damn dogs, man. Look, mm -hmm. I'm pissed off, man. Look, hey, we don't have nothing. Mm -hmm. Y'all done took everything from the Hebrew Israelites, the 12 mm -hmm. tribes of Israel. Mm -hmm. Consists of the so-called blacks, the Spanish, ain't looking Native American. Mm -hmm. We ain't got jack shit. Mm -hmm. We ain't got nothing. Mm -hmm. But soon as we got something that belonged to us, mm -hmm. look, this belongs to us. That's ours. The Hebrew Israelites, our 12 heritage. tribe, it's our heritage. It's our culture. It's look, who we are. Y'all dirty life. dogs won't be. Y'all don't want us to have nothing. Mm -hmm. Y'all done stole everything, man. Mm -hmm. Why we can't have what belongs to us? Y'all don't want us to have nothing, man. Come on. Come on. with y'all. May the most high put y'all all to death, man. Come on. Come on. So I had to say that all. So anything mm -hmm. you want to speak on? No, that's 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 fine. I, we, we we pretty much hey. Y'all damn heathen, man. The most high ain't got nothing to do with y'all damn heathens. Especially you Esau Edom, the Edomite race. Moha hate y'all, man. He mm -hmm. gonna eradicate y'all, Edomites, whether whether you be in Switzerland, German, Russian, y'all all the same people. Mm -hmm. Y'all have nothing to do with the most high God, our God, law, statutes, and commandment between y'all dirty ass. Ragged ass teeth. Mm -hmm. Ain't got nothing to do with y'all mm -hmm. damn dogs, man. Right. Man, the most high put y'all all to death, man. Mm -hmm. Come Wait, on. It's going to happen. Come it's just a matter of time. We just got to wait. Mm -hmm. Come so, mm -hmm. look at here. You dirty damn dogs. I can't wait to put them chain around y'all damn necks. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make sure if the most high, if the most high Lord God willing, y'all how about how shall will, my slaves, especially you, the mites, mm -hmm. I'm going to make sure that the chains is infested. Mm -hmm. I want to be rusty mm -hmm. and, and look infected with, with fleas and ticks because mm -hmm. I want y'all dogs to feel how we feel when y'all brought us over here on them damn slave ships. Come, like the scripture says, uh, uh, what is it, uh, Revelation 18 and 5. No, Revelation 18 and 6 where it says, Reward her even as she had rewarded you and double unto her double according to her works in the cup where she had filled, filled to her double. So y'all have double destruction coming y'all's way. And you have a, you, you have a debt to pay all the way back, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out as go as far as saying all the way back to Cain and Abel. In yeah, the regeneration, they didn't know. Yeah. Tell them all, they the same damn the same. You, you the same damn. The same hey, spirit. Esau, eat them. You you Cain. The Talk same about. spirit. Wow, Esau, eat them. Has the spirit of Cain. He's coming. Esau, eat them. The so called white man. The so called white. It's it's it's, it's and it's not just one. It's the whole nation. 
There's the whole, the whole nation, nation, the whole race of people. And they're coming in the same spirit that uh that Cain came in. Like the scripture said, uh, uh what is it, first John three and uh three and uh three and twelve, not as Cain, who was of that wicked one, slew his brother. And wherefore slew he him? Because his own works were evil, and his brother's righteous. So Esau eat him. Again, in a regeneration. Okay? With Adam and Eve in the beginning. Okay, the same thing with, 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 our, with our forefather Isaac and Rebecca. As it was in the days with Adam and Eve, when you had Cain and Abel, the same thing in the regeneration you have with our forefather Isaac and Rebecca with Jacob and Esau. So Esau is coming after the same spirit as Cain, that same wicked spirit, that, that fugitive, that vagabond upon the earth, the one who's going around robbing, stealing, <coughs> raping, robbing, and pillaging. You know, every nation, every country. But again, in these last evil days, hey, our captivity is being turned. And the same curses that we're under today, hey, they're coming for you, Esau, Edom. Not only for you, Esau, Edom, but also these other nations. But we're talking about Esau right now. Esau, Edom, Adumi. You goddamn dragon. The you goddamn dog. The people of the most highest curse to judgment. Y'all are cursed on the earth. A curse. And sooner or later, y'all gonna really find it out, man. A curse. A curse. Plain and simple. So with that all, like I said, I, I, that's all I got, man. So hey, you did perfect. Perfect. Uh, all praise to the most high you hold by Shimmy Hall side. So now we're gonna get to you wicked ass niggas. Mm -hmm. You Israelites. They don't know you Israelites. Mm -hmm. Calling yourself African Americans. Mm -hmm. Everything but what the Most High Yahweh, for Hashem Yahweh Shai, call us to do. African Israelites out here. He calls us Israel. The Most High gonna put y'all ass to death. And if two thirds, and they gonna be, if you don't repent, they be right from the soul for the Most mm -hmm. High to bring a harbor death on y'all wicked coming. ass niggas, man. It's coming, man. It, it's coming. Like I said, like we've been taught in these Sunday morning with y'all ass, man. The plantation slave doctrine. Wicked ass niggas. That the Most High is all love. The most High doesn't hate. Yeah, see, the Most High love those who obey him. But those of them who hate him to his face, who won't keep his laws, statutes, and commandments. And we begin, like I said, we've been taught that the laws have been done away with. The laws are not done away with. We still have to keep these laws. You can't, but it ain't, but it, but, it, but it ain't in the scriptures, though. God, not, it not ain't in the scriptures. None of these things are scriptural that the laws are done away with. Hell, y'all get that baloney from, man. There's a bunch of nonsense to keep y'all in wickedness because they know that the, the wicked rulership of this world, they know that as long as they keep you in wickedness, they keep you separated from your power. Yeah, that nigga, the man. longer they keep you doing wicked and perversely, then hey, their rulership continues on. Yeah. Look at him. Go ahead. We're, we're going to roll. Look at him. Mm -hmm. this, hey, look at him. I talked to a brother uh, about a week ago, his name Arthur Lewis, mm -hmm. a false prophet. Mm -hmm. You a false prophet, man. Then we're going to kill you. Yeah, you running around down there, hey, down in Louisiana, mm -hmm. you know, lead, me, hey, mislead people like you, the man of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Man, I'm going to call your name out, Arthur Lewis, man. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to you. Come on. Man, look, you mislead these people, telling them the law done away with, you teaching them that, Mohai going to kill you, man. Mm -hmm. If you don't repent, Mohai going to put your wicked ass to death. Mm -hmm. He going to put your wicked ass to death, nigga. Mm -hmm. God. And the reason I can call you a nigga because you acting like a nigga, man. Mm -hmm. You ain't know you a Hebrew Israelite, children of Israel, but you want to be a damn nigga, man. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna show you something. We're gonna go to Acts 7 and 48, mm -hmm. and we're gonna read it from 40, 48, read through 51. But see, mm -hmm. look, hey man, y'all gonna get destroyed for them lies, man. Come the on. crap y'all saying. Go Come ahead. On. So let me, but before we go there, let me yeah. read it. I got a precept. Read it. This is uh the book of Matthew, chapter 5, and verse 19. It says, whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, mm -hmm. he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. Which means your ass is going to be cut off. You're going to die a horrible death on this side over here. Yeah, so how they... You're going to be... You're going to die Why he tell them that, this, that the law done away with? And why the, Why he say he study Paul right? Mm -hmm. Come on. And then, and then Paul said, what do he say in the book of, uh, what is it, what is it, is it, is it, what is it Romans? Roughly paraphrasing. Uh, you well, on the, uh, do we then make void the law? Yeah. Nay, we established the law. Okay, so the laws were established in the old covenant. In the old covenant. And you, when Yahweh saw who the world called Christ, when he walked the earth, he kept his father's laws. Well, I'm going to jack you up, man. Law, man. 
So you walking around teaching me to anyone, yeah. not only you, Arthur Lewis, the one listening to anyone too. else, yeah, who to whom you're teaching these things to, you're gonna be put to death for teaching these things. A horrible death. Made more high put you on a horrible death. And you're gonna die, and they're gonna die for listening to your wicked ass. And not only yourself, but all these other wicked ass, these Sunday worship temples, these Sunday worship pork chop eating pastors teaching these things, and everyone that's believing these things gonna die horrible. Miserable, drawn out death, such as something that you have never heard of or never known. And all praise to your how by see me how shy. Right. You like to call on Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. Arthur Lewis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you yeah. hey, and that day when that day come, mm -hmm. you keep on calling on Jesus Christ. He ain't gonna answer your ass because mm -hmm. he he don't exist. Because he don't exist. That doggy stringy hair, blue-eyed European devil that y'all call Jesus Christ, he doesn't even exist, man. He doesn't exist. It's not our power. It's not, it's not our salvation. Not our salvation at all. He be the main one talking. So what we going to do, he be the main one. The reason I'm going to call on his name, I'm going I'm to I'm hey, talk about him to his face, and I hope mm -hmm. somebody go back and tell him. Mm -hmm. You know, look at him. We pray the most high put a spirit upon him and watch this video. Exactly. Look. Now, what we going to do, mm -hmm. see, I know he was in church last week because I be watching him. Sunday worship temple. He, he talking crap about mm -hmm. people going to church. Mm -hmm. But look at him. Uh, start at verse 48. Verse 48. And read through and read through verse all 51. Okay, so this, this for you, Arthur Lewis, and the rest of you fall prophet. It ain't just for Arthur Lewis, mm -hmm. it's for the rest of you too. Read and it all. The rest of you Sunday worship temple dwellers that's running up in these Sunday worship temples. And even to tell you in these scriptures that he's not even in there. His spirit is not even in there. So this is the book of Acts, chapter 7, beginning of verse 48. How be it the most high dwelleth not in temples made with hands, as said the prophet. We telling you what the Most High said. These he the ain't up in there. We ain't using our own words. Mm -hmm. We use the Most High words. Coming straight from the scriptures, man. Read up. Straight from the scriptures. Verse 49. Heaven is my throne. Heaven is his throne. He in the spirit world, man. Read up. And earth is my footstool. The footstool is dirty and filthy to the Most High. You how about shit me how we shy because they're full of sin. He ain't finna come down here and deal with this place. Come, come. Read up. What house will you build? will you build me? Well, how will you build the most high? You how about shit? You how about shine? Mm -hmm. You can't build the most high no house. Mm -hmm. The filthy, your filthy, dirty ass hands. Come, read up. Said the Lord, or oh, what is the place of my rest? What is the place of most high rest? In the spirit world, man. Come, look. You think the most high gonna come down and dwell in a filthy ass building where y'all want to cook some pork chops, steaks? I mean, I mean oh, 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 pork, steaks. Few, yeah, pork, yeah, pork steaks. Yeah, pork steaks. Lobster, okay. shrimp, crawfish, catfish, and uh, mm -hmm. had your crawfish ball and lobster ball. Man, the most high ain't dealing with that baloney. He ain't dealing with that baloney. But y'all want to turn the most high into what y'all want the most high mm -hmm. to be. Most high ain't dealing with y'all, man. Not at all. Say, I'll get him more to read. No, yeah. So, like I said, uh, verse 50. Hath not my hand made all these things? The most high hand made all things. He don't need your money. He don't need nothing to read up. Mm -hmm. Verse 51. Ye stiff-necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears. You hard-headed niggas. <laughs> that's what the Most High is saying to you wicked-ass niggas. I don't mm -hmm. care if y'all don't like my tone, man. I don't give a damn about that, man. Hey. Read up. Ye do always resist the Holy Spirit. The same thing. You, you resist the law, statutes, and commandments, the Holy Spirit. Read up. As your fathers did. So do you. You did the same thing your forefather did, you wicked ass wicked niggas. Ass two third ass niggas. The mm -hmm. same thing. The wicked ass Pharisees and scribes back in the ancient times. Same niggas. Right back here again today. Right back here again the today. The same niggas. Our people, the two thirds of our people, man, they are the epitome of John 8. The, chap the whole yeah, chapter. The whole chapter. The whole chapter of John. Chapter, the whole chapter 8. The whole chapter of John. The whole chapter 8 of John. The whole 8. The whole, the whole, the whole chapter. From verse 1 all the way down to, how many, how many, how many hey, the whole chapter. It's, it, it, it epitomizes. They ain't father the devil. The mentality. Man. They, they ain't father the devil. In the works of their father, they will. Yeah, hey, Esau, eat them. Y'all go after his ways, man. Mm -hmm. What would Esau tell y'all, man? Hard-headed, stiff-necked, stout-hearted, disobedient, and rebellious people. That's what I, I people you want to speak on. Uh, that's, that's 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 like I said. We 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 recovering recovering through the yeah, man. man. We're reading now. So like I Book said, ass niggas, man. Yeah. Arthur Lord, you keep lying to them people down there, man, in Louisiana, man. Mohawk mm -hmm. gonna put your ass to death, man. Yeah, Look here. What you, you need to do is 
Look, you what you need to do is examine yourself, man. Come. You need to examine if you if, if, if you read out the scriptures, if you don't got no understanding, man, say you don't have no understanding, man. Come. But stop misleading other people. What you're gonna do is you even close up on your own head. Mm -hmm. You have to pay for misleading people, Come. and then they gonna get the same destruction you get for following your age. Sword destruction is coming your way for misleading these people. They don't have to believe what we're saying. Mm -hmm. We hey, we using the word of the most high. Y'all about Come. to have a shot. We're not speaking of our own brain. It's not words. We're speaking straight from the scripture. <coughs> something our people that something our people need Sunday worship Kimberly won't do. They won't read. Won't read. And so, hey, again, they they they're quick, you know, to take the, the fall for you fall for anything you won't stand for righteousness. They fall for anything, man. Anything. Rather than doing research for yourself. They'll fall for anything, man. Doing for yourself, man. They'll fall for anything and stand for anything but but righteousness. Back that Christianity no, doctrine ain't it all. Uh, pick many Christianity man, doctrine. That, that's that, that's, 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 that's man, man. That's that's uh that's witchcraft as at its finest. They some fools, man. Y'all some fools. Hey, look, if y'all can ever think, look at him. If you if you actually pick the Bible up for your own self and you read it, if you come if you had any kind of if the Mohai put any kind of sense in your heart, which is meaning your brain, mm -hmm. in your mind, you'll see if you pick the Bible up and read it. Ain't got nothing to do with what they teaching y'all in the building. It's, a, it's, it's the exact opposite. Y'all some damn fools. It's the polar opposite of what's being taught in these Sunday worship temples. Plain and simple. That's all I got up. Okay, okay, we're gonna we're gonna go to the book of Prophet Ezekiel, mm -hmm. and we're gonna read. We're gonna chapter thirteen, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna read from verse one to eight. Okay, and then pause at eight. We're gonna speak on it, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna jump to verse sixteen. Okay, so so start from. Chapter 13, and read from, from, from uh, verse 1 to verse 8. Come. So let's see. Uh, uh, yeah, I yeah, yeah. people, man. Destroy for lack of knowledge. Yeah, I see it. the scripture in Hosea 4 and 6. It is over. With. And when the scriptures say, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, that's Hosea 4 and 6. Mm -hmm. When it says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Our people are destroyed because they don't know the Most High. They don't know the God of this Bible. They don't know the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Because my people have no knowledge, they are destroyed. That's what the scripture is saying to you. Because we don't know the God of the Bible. They don't know the Most High killer duty. He telling me he'll kill them. Duty, he kill them but when he know. put that to death, I want to say, oh, what happened? Mm -hmm. yeah, okay, let me pray to the Lord to help me. Mm -hmm. The Most High putting y'all dumb ass, mm -hmm. wicked ass niggas to death. Plain and simple because if we you won't read it. Turn back and repent of our wicked ways and seek the face of the Most High while he may be found. Because there's coming a time when he's going to take his servants, the prophets, off the streets and his word will not be found. Like the scripture says in Isaiah 55 and uh, 11, where it says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon his. No, that's uh, Isaiah 55 and I believe verse 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, for he will have mercy upon him, and to our God, for he will have, for he will abundantly pardon. But see again, like I said, we've been taught that he's all love. <coughs> you know, God doesn't hate. They can't find the scriptures, can they all? There's no one scripture. It ain't any many scriptures. And, and 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 if you find any scripture that says God is love, which come to mind in uh, First John chapter three, I want to say chapter three. And around the and around around the eighth verse where it says now and see and if he is a God of love, he only loves those who love him. He only do, he only loves those who love righteousness. Was John fourteen and fifteen and first John five what, five love, and three? Keep my commandments. That's love. First John five and three. He did, what did he say? Uh, for this is the love of the most high. He keep my commandments keep my commandment. and my commandments are not grievous. So those scriptures tell you that the laws are not done away with. Okay, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and read Ezekiel 13 verses one. Help yourself, Bob. Okay, come. That didn't so, be a wicked ass false prophet. Come. Man. So this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 13, beginning at verse one. And the word of the Lord Yahweh came unto me, saying, "Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy, and say thou unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts, hear ye the word of the Lord Yahweh." Thus said the Lord Yahweh, Woe unto the foolish prophets. Oh, oh what did he say? Woe unto the foolish prophets. Hey, that's death and destruction. Hey, death and destruction comes to you foolish prophets. Woe Read up. means death and destruction. Woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit. Follow their own wicked ass minds. 
and have not seen and have seen nothing. You ain't seen nothing. Read up. O Israel, thy prophets are like the foxes in the desert. Israel he talking to you Israelites that don't know you Israelites, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Mm -hmm. Read up. Ye have not gone up into the gaps. You ain't gone up in the gaps. The gaps is when you see the brothers on the four corners of the earth, you can go on YouTube. Whatever you want to do, you can find them. They are out there in the streets, in the elements, Con. in the danger zone. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what they hit. In the danger enemy zone, line. behind enemy line, mm -hmm. can be put to death in a second. Mm -hmm. Read up. Okay. Let me read verse 5 again. Ye have not gone up into the gaps, neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel. Put no protection around them. Read up. To stand in the battle in the day of the Lord Yahweh. Hey, you, hey look, the most high fish come back and destroy this place, man. How about Shimon Yahweh Shai? Uh, we, hey, we're in a battle zone. We're in a uh, war zone right now. Y'all ain't warning nobody to tell them death and destruction is coming, man. Uh, the Mohai fish to come back and put two thirds of death and the rest of these other nations to death. Hopefully, the one, hey, look, the one third, hopefully, let, hey, plus the 144,000. Read up. Uh, Verse 6. They have seen vanity and lying divination. Y'all ain't seen nothing from the, hey, from the, hey, from the divine power. Mm -hmm. Ain't look the most high ain't dealing with y'all, man. Come. Read up. They have seen vanity and lying divination, saying, The Lord Yahweh saith, and the Lord Yahweh hath not sent them. <laughs> Boy, I ain't sent them. Arthur Lou, he ain't sent you, Arthur Lou. <laughs> hey, I gotta call you out, man, because you running your mouth, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, read up. Come. And they have made others to hope that they would confirm the word. Have ye not seen a vain vision? Have you not seen a vain vision? The Mohai ain't dealing with y'all, man. Mm. Hey, read it off. And have ye not spoken a lying divination? The Mohai said y'all lying on him, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, read it off. Whereas ye say, the Lord Yahweh saith it, albeit I have not spoken. Hey, look at He's Mohai Yahweh said out of his own mouth. Hey, hey, these wicked Negroes, wicked niggers, Israel niggers, the two thirds. The lying prophets, the false prophets, the most high, ain't, ain't dealing with y'all mm -hmm. wicked niggas, man. Look, it, it should be easy for you to figure it out. If you're not speaking what thus said the Lord, like it said, 1 Peter 4 11, mm -hmm. if any man speak, let him speak in the order of God. Meaning, if you ain't speaking what it said in the scriptures, uh -huh. you ought to have enough, well, you don't have enough sense. No, you don't. I ain't going to say that. But you should, but you don't. Uh -huh. If you ain't speaking what this word said, you a fool. Come. And you fooling your own self. The Mohai ain't you sent you. Yourself. You a damn fool. The Mohai gonna, if you don't repent, Mohai gonna put your ass to death. He gonna do it in a wicked way. Oh, he gonna put man. you, man, the Mohai, he gonna, he gonna put your ass to death Whoa, in a wicked man. way, man. Whoa, also, as said, as said the, the prophet Isaiah 8 and 20, to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in him. No, there is no light in them. If your life, speak on now, are not lighting up, with what thus said the Lord, if your life, like the scripture also says, what is it, uh, uh, Proverbs 14 and 12, there is a way that seems right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. If your life is not is, is not lining up with what's, or what's written in these scriptures, what thus said the Lord, then, hey, woe is coming unto you. Death well, and destruction man, man. is coming unto you. Come, come. So, like I said, if you're not lining up, if your hey, life is not lining up with these scriptures, hey, man. Hey, speak on it, huh? You're doing good. Hey, death and destruction is coming your way. And, and you, shouldn't accept, you shouldn't expect to receive nothing else but death and destruction according to the work of your hands. Again, like we brought up in a video last week. If you, if you work right, like the scripture says, I got to bring it up. Galatians uh, 6 and 7. Be not deceived. The most high is not mocked. But whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that sowed to the spirit, no, for he that sowed to the flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, and he that, but he that sowed to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. If you're not lining up, if your life is not lining up <coughs> with these scriptures coming out of this Bible, then death, destruction, and doom is your portion. Plain and simple. Rightfully so. The most high is not plain, yeah, man. So. Like he said again, the most high is not mocked. But whatsoever a man soweth. That shall he also reap. If you re if you if you wrought wickedness with your hands, if you do the works of wickedness, if you're doing your dirty deeds in the dark, you're gonna receive the rewards of the wicked man. You're gonna reap the benefits of the uh, 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 of the seed that you have sown. If you sow wickedness, you're gonna reap a wicked harvest. If you sow righteousness according to the scriptures, then hey, the Most High 
He's not a man that he should lie. Okay? Nor the son of man that he should repent. He's going to reward you according to your works. Point blank, period, plain and simple. Come on, up. Right for the show. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and y'all will get, <coughs> y'all will get pro wake up, prophets. Y'all will, if y'all don't repent. Well, he's not even playing, man. He's not playing. He's not that doggy stringy haired, blue eyed devil that we've been talking to you, Sunday worship temples. He's not coming back here to give everybody hugs, kisses, and roses, playing tiptoe to the tulips. He's not, that's not what's coming back here, man. An angry black man with nappy ass, white woolly hair, and a white beard, red eyes. Yeah. And a host of angels coming with him, man, to put this place to death, man. Oh, they worry about Cam uh, Cameron, Cameron, what's the name? Kamala Harris and what that damn freak, uh, damn pedophile Joe Biden. Mm -hmm. He a pedophile. <laughs> yeah, y'all niggas, man, y'all niggas fall for anything. Bro. The basis of men man. are ruling over us right now. Man, man, y'all gonna find out, man. The house of the wicked, man. Y'all yeah, gonna find out, boy. Y'all gonna be, hey, look, man, Israel, man, y'all gonna be dismayed, man. Mm -hmm. Y'all about to get jacked up, man. Well, how about I come put y'all to death? Don't even know it, man. Y'all about to get put to death, man. And the, yeah, repent. He, he gonna put y'all to death, y'all. Turn man. back to this Bible. Man, well, how gonna jack y'all ass up? This boy. is our life, man. Yeah. This is our culture. This is our heritage. This is who we are, man. I can tell when that calamity hit, then it gonna make sense. It don't make sense to him right mm -hmm. now. They don't care about that. They yeah. living their best life. See? Because see, they don't care about that, man. man. See, yeah. believe to our people. You gotta they say, that, I don't say. believe it. If you I see, I believe it. Hey, it's right, right it's around the corner. Late, though. It's right around the corner. When hey, you look. see it, it's going to be too late. I get them guillotines around the corner. Man, them guillotines, guillotines and these torture chambers, torture man. Chambers, he gave me a vision chambers, of the day of some of the things that they got up in these torture chambers, hey. man, that no one's eyes have ever seen. The shots y'all body received, y'all yeah. the received, all the fight be chip. Y'all don't believe it now. Mm -hmm. But you know what, though? The more high, you how about him have a shot? When that day come, he going to put in y'all brain, in y'all heart. For y'all say, y'all say y'all heart right here. Uh -huh. Mohai said the heart right here in the uh -huh. mind. When he put that, hey, when it all come back in full circle, everything we saying now with the brother on the streets preaching the a hey, truth, loving them brothers out there, man. They bring out the gospel. They telling y'all the same thing. Scattered brought them on the four corners of the earth, man. Yeah. They out to the day, man. The same ancient spirits that was back in the yeah. ancient times, man. These brothers right back yeah. on, the, on the streets today, yeah. And the highways and hedges, yeah. not in these Sunday worship temples, wherein the Most High dwelleth not. But they ain't listening. The though. spirits not in these buildings. See, we are the temple wherein He dwells. These brothers, the apostles and elders of great millstones, and all the brothers who are teaching, who are coming after the teachings of the apostles and elders of great millstone. They're out there, scattered abroad among the four corners of the earth, in every nation, in every tongue, in every language, speaking the same gospel, coming straight from this Bible today. It is the most high to put the spirit upon y'all to wake up and come back to this Bible, start keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments, acknowledge, confess, and repent, and turn from your wicked ways, Death and destruction shall be your portion. It will be y'all ass, man. Most high is not playing, y'all. He's not the God. He's not what y'all think he is. They're going to find out, though. We're warning y'all today, man. Y'all getting y'all's warning, man. These brothers out there warning y'all. Day in and day out. They're about to get cut off pretty soon. They ain't going to be able to hear after a while. Wake up. You're going to be crying, man. Hey, Come man. out of these Sunday worship temples, man. Hey, what them brothers were saying? What them brothers were saying? What y'all were saying? What y'all were saying? Hey, it ain't going to be too late. It's going to be y'all ass, man. That's it. Y'all don't know. Y'all don't have no idea what about to happen. Judgment is set, man. The yeah, same thing that went on that. back in the days of Noah, man. When the Most High shut Noah up and his, his, his wife, his three sons and their wives, man, and those animals that he had preserved, when the, before the flood waters came, man, the Most High himself shut up the door of that ark. It's happening again right now. Right now in front of your face. The same, same thing. thing going on today as it did in the ancient times. The most high required that which is past. That which is the, that which has been is now. Uh, what do you say? And it's that right. which is to be is all has already been. It's gonna be fire this time, man. Oh man. Look, man, look, I saw a rain, man. Look. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna I ain't gonna change course, but I'll talk about it later. Look here, man. Hey, man, y'all don't understand. We have no idea Please, y'all don't know about to happen, man. What's on the horizon for y'all, Boy, y'all just don't know. Y'all think real. we crazy right repent, now. Repent, man. Y'all think we crazy, man. Repent. Come out of these Sunday worship temples, wherein the Most High dwelleth not. These pastors teaching y'all lies and deceit, and they're robbing you along the way, lead you as sheep to the slaughter. Give me Ezekiel. Out. Ezekiel, what we got? So we're going to start at verse 14. Okay. I mean, chapter 14 and verse 9. Chapter 14 and verse 9. Verse 9. Okay. All right, yeah, so this okay, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. So this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter fourteen, and verse nine. And if the prophet be deceived when he hath spoken a thing, I, the Lord Yahweh, have deceived that prophet, and I will stretch out my hand, my hand upon him, 
and will destroy him from the midst of my people Israel. Okay, now watch this. What's going on right now in this scripture? He talking to you so-called blacks, so-called Hispanics, so-called Native Americans. He talking to the Israelites. Mm -hmm. Now he talking to, the, well, we ain't worried about the heathens. Now we, we talked about them earlier. Mm -hmm. So he talking to you, Israel. They, you, this, 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 this who he talking to. So the more how put a spirit upon you, you think you teaching that Christianity, Jesus Christ, uh, juice. Mm -hmm. He talking to y'all. Mm -hmm. So you, y'all think y'all teaching a the right doctrine, but read it again from y'all. Start over at verse nine. Okay, so this is the book of the prophet Ezekiel, chapter fourteen, and verse nine. And if the prophet be deceived when he had spoken a thing, when the prophet be deceived. He's spoken a thing, Arthur Lewis. Mm -hmm. You think you preaching the right doctrine with that Christianity doctrine? With Jesus Christ doctrine, mm -hmm. when G, when the letter J is only six hundred years old, mm -hmm. in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, ancient of days, mm -hmm. it ain't no it ain't no number on it because he he ancient of days, the Most mm -hmm. High Yahweh. Mm -hmm. That's our that's our language. Mm -hmm. Okay, read up. Huh? Starting again, Ezekiel fourteen and nine. And if the prophet be deceived when he hath spoken a thing, I the Lord Yahweh have deceived that prophet. The Most High Yahweh, he didn't trick your ass. Mm -hmm. Read it And I will stretch out my hand upon him and will destroy him from the midst of my people Israel. Well, how going to destroy your wicked ass, Arthur Lewis, because you you teaching that Jesus doctrine. Mm -hmm. Everything you teaching is it ain't in the scriptures. It's not in the scriptures. Jesus mm -hmm. love everybody. And uh, the law, I, you said it now. I got it on my Facebook thing because mm -hmm. I saved it. Mm -hmm. You said the law is done away with. Mm -hmm. And you said that, that read, uh, you, and I'm going to tell you what you said. You said that you must know precept upon precept mm -hmm. in, the, in the study of Paul writing. Mm -hmm. That's what you say out of your own mouth. The more high, they're going to set your ass up to put your ass to death because the crap you teaching, it ain't in the scripture. The more high ain't said. Now, one time, you lying on the most high, man. Mm -hmm. The more high going to put your wicked ass to death. Mm -hmm. I, look, you know what? I can't say this. I ain't the most high. Mm -hmm. I can't say you ain't going to repent. Because the Mohawk can change you anytime you want to. Okay. But if I was a gambling man, which I'm not, mm -hmm. but if I was, you ain't going to do that because you're so saturated in that Christianity juice, mm -hmm. you ain't going to change it. You think the reason you believe in that, because they, you, hey, look, you want to keep being wicked. You mm -hmm. can keep frying your catfish. Mm -hmm. You can keep boiling mm -hmm. your strips mm -hmm. and your pork chop. You gonna, hey, you're going to mm -hmm. hey, cut that hog open and cook it in the ground. Mm -hmm. You don't want to stop doing that, see? So you're going to keep on believing in that damn bullcrap doctrine. Mm -hmm. Mohai is going to destroy your ass, man. Come. That's what's going to happen to you. Come on, and with that, I got I to I I uh, go to Jeremiah. And I'll arrest you wicked pastors. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, Jeremiah 23, verses 21 and 22. <clears throat> I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. But if they had stood in my counsel, which means keeping the laws, that's mm -hmm. the commandments of the Lord. You ain't going to do that. And had caused my people to hear my words. Then they should have returned. They, then, it's like, then they should have, they, it's like, then they should have turned them from their evil way and from the evil of their doings. They going to do, they gonna do that all because mm -hmm. they want to be wicked like them. Because they want to continue in that Christianity plantation Slave doctrine because it allows you to remain as wicked and as perverse as possible, and it doesn't require any change. You can stay yeah. as you are, you can come as you are, as we've been taught, and as lies and deceit. And and if somebody else, a woman in church, or, or vice versa, a man, or whatever, you mm -hmm. want his woman or wife, and come. you can go to the club and have a good time, and you mm -hmm. know, more he'll forgive you for that. That's what they're kind of crap y'all teach, man. Mm -hmm. And he, everything y'all think, y'all teach, it ain't even the it's scriptures, nothing man. In the scriptures, man, it has nothing to do with this Bible. And we're going to show you. Go ahead. Do with this Are you Bible, done? Man, I'm done with that. Okay, so we're going to do it. We're going to go a little further. Okay. We're going to show you. Look here. Now, I want y'all. Mm -hmm. The Christianity land, look, I want y'all to pay real close attention. Mm -hmm. Okay? Pay real close attention. Because this is what y'all say. Uh, you know, well, Satan's busy. Satan's very busy. Mm -hmm. Spiritual demon say he's busy. You know, well, they never saw us busy today. Mm -hmm. Okay? You know what y'all say? Oh, Jesus, the Jesus, who y'all, on that Jesus, he love everybody. You know, he ain't going to do this, he ain't going to do that. But watch this him. Mm -hmm. Look, you know how y'all say that uh, the devil busy? But y'all know. 
Speak to demons Satan on the most high. How a payroll? That's right. All the demons that, that y'all think were hey, possessing people, mm -hmm. making them twist themselves around and do all this crazy stuff mm -hmm. and I talk crazy. Look, look, the most high doing that. Mm -hmm. Now you watch this, you wicked ass, fake ass, false prophets. Mm -hmm. Now, now what we're going to do is mm -hmm. this. We're going to go to 1 Kings. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Chapter 22. Hey, give me a second, off. Mm -hmm. I got talking a little too much. It's, it's I got cool. excited, man. You know what like I said, it's the spirit of Moses. I man. got excited, man. These wicked ass, ass man, man. wicked ass. Wicked ass niggas, man. Y'all yeah. wicked, man. Our people, man. Like I said, like the scripture says, what is the they say, man? 4 and 22. Our people are wise to do evil, yeah. but to do good, they have no knowledge, man. So, so who we're going to read? First Kings. I know this is for the one third whole for leg. They hadn't heard his word. Mm -hmm. I know you wicked niggas mm -hmm. ain't gonna understand this here. Uh -huh. But it ain't for you. Right. Only thing is for you to hear it. Mm -hmm. For when that day of judgment comes, you can't say you ain't heard it. Uh -huh. We understand that you ain't gonna understand, you ain't gonna mm -hmm. get it. We know this. So what we're gonna do, all we're gonna read first King, and it's gonna tie into the same scripture we just read, verse 14 of Ezekiel and verse 9. Mm -hmm. So first Kings 22 and 17, we're gonna read verse 7. We're going to read 1 Kings 22, and we're going to read verse 17 to 23, mm -hmm. and it's going to bag up Ezekiel 14 to 9. Come on. Come on. So this is the book of 1 Kings, chapter 22, beginning at verse 17. And he said, I saw all Israel scattered upon the hills mm -hmm. as sheep that have not a shepherd. False prophet. They ain't got no shepherds. Mm -hmm. And the Lord Yahweh said, these have no master. Let them return every man to his house in peace. And the king of Israel said unto Jehoshaphat. Which is meaning Donald Trump is y'all king right now mm -hmm. in Babylon the Great, which it will be today. Come on, read up. Come on. Did <coughs> I not tell thee that he would prophesy no good concerning me, but evil? He wanted to hear all good smooth things like y'all like to hear them good lies. Mm -hmm. Read up. And he said, Hear thou therefore the word of the Lord, Yahweh. I saw the Lord, Yahweh. Sitting on his throne. Yahweh sitting on the throne. And all the hosts of heaven standing by him on his right hand and on his left. The right hand meaning is the righteous angels. Mm -hmm. Okay. Read out. And the Lord Yahweh said, Who shall persuade Ahab that he may go up and fall and Ramoth Gilead? Okay, let me go back. On the left, on the right hand side is the righteous angels. Mm -hmm. On the left hand side is the wicked angels which you... Which, which, that you were called demons today. Mm -hmm. Read up. Okay. okay. And so, and the Lord said, Who shall persuade Ahab that he may go up and fall at Ramoth Gilead? Mm -hmm. And one said on <coughs> this manner, and another said on that manner. And there came forth a spirit and stood before the Lord Yahweh and said, I will persuade him. And the Lord Yahweh said unto him, Wherewith? And he said, I will go forth, and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. <laughs> you see that? You that line up with Ezekiel 14 and 9. He said, the Mohai said, if a prophet be deceived, run paraphrase, I the Lord to see that prophet. Huh. So you, what y'all doing is y'all don't know y'all fulfilling prophecy. Mm -hmm. You wicked ass past faith, false pastors. Mm -hmm. If you ain't preaching what coming out of this book, mm -hmm. hey, you a false prophet. Huh. And the Mohai for to put y'all. If you don't repent, he's going to put your wicked ass to death. Come on. Come on. Doesn't get any simpler than that. Okay? Now, again, I'll read it again. 1 Kings 22. And verse 22. And the Lord Yahweh said unto him, Wherewith? Matter of fact, you know what? I'm going to go back up to 21. Go ahead. And there came forth a spirit <coughs> and stood before the Lord and said, I will persuade him. And the Lord said unto him, Wherewith? And he said, I will go forth. And I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And he said, Thou shalt persuade him and prevail also. Go forth and do so. Hey, hey. Mohai making your own lie, man. Because mm -hmm. he can destroy your ass, wicked ass. Mm -hmm. if, look, if this is here, if you don't repent, man, Mohai going to destroy you. Man. Plain and simple. One more. Go, 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 go ahead. Go, no, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Verse go ahead. 23, 2 Kings 22 and 23. Now, therefore, behold. The Lord had put a lying spirit in the mouth of all these thy prophets. <laughs> Arthur Lewis. And the Lord has spoken evil concerning thee. <laughs> Arthur Lewis. Lying. 
Huh. And the rest of you, oh, pastor, huh. you ain't speaking what's in it. If y'all going around telling these people, Israel, that they don't got to keep the law, statutes, commandments, and believe what Paul say, Paul write, Yahweh shot called the shots. Mm -hmm. Yahweh shot the head man. Mm -hmm. So how you huh. going to, if Yahweh shot say one thing, do you you don't even understand Paul writing, mm -hmm. his teaching. Huh. How you going to exhort the, uh, Paul, boy, Yahweh shot, when Yahweh shot, he's, hey, look, he called the shots. Mm -hmm. huh. I'm not going to put y'all wicked ass to death, man. Come. You're going to be put to death. You're going to be put to death, all you wicked prophets, man. Come. Come. Come, so. And we might have cut the short off. Man, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> so what we'll do is this here. What we'll do, up. Mm -hmm. We'll go to. Uh, this is what we'll do. We'll drop down to. Uh, Isaiah 56 and 10. Isaiah 56 and 10. And, 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 we'll go, and we'll go from there and we'll and we'll try to squeeze in Isaiah 56 and 10. Mm -hmm. And we'll try to just go through. Come. Yeah, we'll do do the last three precepts. Come, come. Like I said, man, our, our people are wicked as hell, yeah, man. Yeah, and man. they need to be talked to, man. Because yeah, again, I, 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 the most high is not playing, man. He's not playing with our people. He's not playing. And so, like I said. Repent, Israel. Repent. Somebody's are you trying to what you want to do? Most high is not dwelling in these places. Okay, so Isaiah 56, verses 10 through 12. And this go for all you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Look who he talking to. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't know it, but we know. Okay. We know who he's talking to. He's talking to y'all, man. Mm -hmm. okay, so this is the book of Isaiah, the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 56, beginning of verse 10. His watchmen are blind. Watchmen are blind. All you so-called pastors and preachers. Mm -hmm. Y'all blind. They are all ignorant. Most high God, Yahweh say, y'all all ignorant. Y'all mm -hmm. go, y'all ignorant, man. Mm -hmm. They ain't our words. Mm -hmm. Read, read off. They are all dumb the dogs. Most high Yahweh say, y'all some all. He talking to all of y'all, man. Oh, if you ain't God. speaking to what's coming out of the word, mm -hmm. you speaking your own dumb ass or vain mind, mm -hmm. y'all all dumb dogs. Read off. Mm -hmm. Sleeping, lying down. Y'all sleeping, lying down. Loving to slumber. No, to slumber. You mm -hmm. have sleep. Mm -hmm. You have wake and you have a sleep. Your ass slumbering. Mm -hmm. Read up. Yea, they are greedy dogs. Oh, I say y'all some greedy ass dogs. Read up. Which can never have enough. You can have enough. You want all them tithe offerings. Mm -hmm. Read up. And they are shepherds that cannot understand. You can't. You don't have no understanding of the scripture. No mm -hmm. light in you. Read up. They all look to their own way. All look to your own wicked ass way. Everyone for his game. The war for his own game. From Keep his quarter. Game. Yeah, from his quarter. Read up. Come ye, say they. I will fetch wine. Oh, fetch wine. What kind of wine are you going to fetch? Mm -hmm. Read up. And we will fill ourselves with strong drink. Fill ourselves with strong drink. Read up. And tomorrow shall be as this day and much more abundant. Okay, read verse 12 one more time. We read right, right quick. Go ahead. Come ye, say they. I will fetch wine. And we will fill ourselves with strong drink. They're going to go home and they're going to fill themselves with them false doctrines and tell you all kind of lies and make you feel good. Read up. And tomorrow shall be as this day and much more abundant. And that strong drink, look at him. You know, the same doctrine, same lies and philosophy. But you look at philosophy. That strong drink, by the time tomorrow, will be more abundant because they're going to come feed you all them lies, mm -hmm. make you feel good. They give me them tithes and offers, man. I can pray for the Lord tonight. He say he's going to give you all this and that. Mm -hmm. All them tithes and offers, y'all, they ain't going to rake in. Then they're going to be much more rich and abundant on that Sunday evening. Good. So what we're going to do? Good. Go ahead and, uh, hey, we got we got two more quick ones. Okay. Isaiah 30. And we're going to start at verse 9. Isaiah 39. Come on. My favorite, favorite scripture. Isaiah 39. Wicked ass passive, man. Okay. This is Isaiah. I'm if you don't mind, I'm going to start with verse 3. Yeah, how you want to do it? Okay, so this is the book of Isaiah. The book of the prophet Isaiah. You got it up? Go ahead, yeah. The book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 30, beginning in verse 8. Now go, write it before them in a table, mm -hmm. and note it in a book, mm -hmm. that it may be for a time to come, forever and ever. We're at this time mm -hmm. now. The time right now. That this is a rebellious people. Mm -hmm. Lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. I thought the law was done away with. Mm -hmm. Read up. Which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets. Arthur Lewis. Prophesy not unto us right things. Don't tell us we got to keep the law of the commandment, Arthur Lewis. Don't tell us we can't eat uh, shrimps, but it look lobster and crawfish. Don't tell us that. Arthur, tell us that, Arthur. 
Read up. Speak unto us smooth things. Hey, tell us lies, Arthur Lewis. Tell us lies, man. Read up. Prophesy deceits. Arthur lied to us, man. In, in the rest you Christian pastors. Please tell us some lies. We don't want to tell us. We don't want y'all to tell us that we got to keep the law of the commandment because mm -hmm. that requires work. We don't mm -hmm. want y'all to tell us that, that Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, who, who the world even called Jesus Christ. We don't want y'all to tell us that he gonna come back and put us to death. We're gonna change our ways. Mm -hmm. Tell us we they, tell us that he loves everybody mm -hmm. and we ain't gotta worry about nothing. We ain't gotta do no work. Tell us these things. We can continue to be as wicked and perverse as we please. Get with y'all wicked niggas. We don't mean to put y'all to death, man. That's what they rightfully so. Smooth. That's what our people wanna hear. They wanna hear smooth things, deceit, lies, as yeah. these wicked pork chop eating pastors. Tell them on Sundays. What we got out? We got one more phone. Come on. This for you, Arthur Lewis. Mm -hmm. Not just you, Arthur Lewis. The reason I'm calling your name out because I'm calling your ass out because you you lying. Mm -hmm. See, these these go for the same suckers that teach the same doctrine you teach. Mm -hmm. Now, you said a lot done away with. Okay. Now this here from the trunk. We're gonna say what well, you have a See it. We well, I put it like this. We fixed to read what Yahweh Shah said, mm -hmm. who the world really ignorantly called Jesus Christ. Come. See, show me how you're going to slug about this one, Arthur Lewis. <laughs> ah, mm -hmm. read Matthew 19, verse 16, and read through 17. Ah, uh, 19. Come. Come, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Because, yeah, a lot of our people, again, like I said, he came and did a little, and then, like I said, like the video we watched our brothers. Out there, over there in South Carolina, out there teaching man, bringing out bringing out the gospel. Yeah. How this, this this little this little wicked woman out there talking about saying something to the fact that I hate saying that J word now because yeah, I know who you made. You is, say it, but but, but we, yeah, just for the just for the edify the body. But Jesus Jesus came to break came to break. And she can't find it though in the scriptures. No word. I give a thousand dollars if she can show me that. There's no word written. So you said you want uh, you want Matthew, Matthew 19? 19 and you can read it, read verse 16 mm -hmm. to verse 17. Maybe verse 16. Arthur Lewis, look here man. Look what you mm -hmm. said now. Mm -hmm. Now now watch this. Okay, so this is the book of Matthew chapter 19. And this is the new covenant. The New Testament. 19, uh, Matthew chapter 19 beginning at verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing it's like what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandment. How you gonna get into the kingdom? Yeah, I was shy who you were even called Jesus Christ. What did he just say at the end? But if thou wilt enter into life. Keep the commandments. You got to keep the commandments into the, into the kingdom. Keep the commandments. Then what the Yahweh Shai, who you call Jesus Christ, man. There's no other way. How you going to go above Yahweh Shai head and going to say some crap like that, man? Mm -hmm. Yahweh Shai just said, if you going to enter into life, keep the commandments. So what you just did, Arthur Lewis, you your own God. You call the shots. Mm -hmm. Yahweh Shai, who you, who you call Jesus Christ, said, if you going to enter into life, keep the commandments. You said the law was done away with. Paul said this. Paul said that. Hey, man, you don't get put to death, man. Like, if you don't mind, I got one more. Go ahead and pull it, man. It's on the list. I'm sick of these wicked niggas, man. Yeah, man you wicked ass, ass false prophets, man. That made them, if you don't repent, may the Mohai put you to death in a violent way. Con. Con. Con, 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 con. So, this is the book of John, chapter 10, and verse 1. And these are your house child, who the world called Christ. These are his words that are written in red. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not in, he, it's like it, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. Yeah. The same is a thief and a robber. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ. So this, 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 hey, the Christian doctrine. The Christian doctrine. The Christian doctrine, man. Hey, we don't got to keep the law, statutes, and commandments, man. We can... I what they say. Oh, we can be wicked and we can be, be as wicked and perverse as we please. Hey, I what they say. Oh. And we still will be invited and welcomed Man. into the kingdom Man. everlasting wherein dwelleth righteousness. <laughs> Man. Hey, man. that's crazy, man. Look, crazy it, that drive me crazy. Hey, you know, thinking about that, man. Man, there's no way. Oh, man. 
Yeah. Again, like I said, we brought this up last week, if I'm not mistaken, again, in a video we did last week. Man, it's crazy. There's no way that we can live wicked and progressive. Man, man. God. Dog. Live according to our own laws or live according to this wicked system, man. Come as you are. God, uh, the most high man. loves the center and hates That's the crazy, sin, man. man. It's, it doesn't make any sense. It's just like me saying, if I, if, I, if I pick up a gun and blow away one of your loved ones, don't hate me. Hate the gun. The gun did it. I didn't do it. Then you turn around and invite them and want to kill your kids, your whole slaughter your family. Hey, come over my house. Hey, I'm gonna cook dinner. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna cook dinner tomorrow. Hey, y'all come over and eat. It's the same night, man. Y'all, man, man again, like I said, Christianity, thing, plantation slave doctrine is worth it. Is worse than crack cocaine. It's witchcraft at its finest. Okay, man, and that's all I got. Up. And, I, and I pulled it because I saw, I saw, I saw it on this man. I just had to bring it out. It hey, lined up, you did right. It lined up what you said, what what you had said prior to me reading it. Yeah, I got to talking too much, yeah. but I got to say this. The the most high and then we're gonna, then we're gonna close out <coughs> to you wicked Israelites, saying that uh, Jesus died for everybody, saying that you're a Christian. You don't know the Christian either. Mm -hmm. Research the word Christian. Come on. Research it. Then research it and then tell me if you're a Christian. Christian means follow the ways of who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. which is his name in the Hebrew, Pedro ancient Hebrew is Yahushua, mm -hmm. which means Yah is he, he saves, or he or he's available of now deliver. Mm -hmm. Ah, hey, look. So if if you're a Christian, you're going to walk how he walked. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're going to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Come. How you a Christian if you ain't keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, fool? Mm -hmm. You ain't no Christian. Come, because he kept the law. If you ain't keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, mm -hmm. how you hell are you a Christian? Mm -hmm. That's just like you saying you're a football player on a football team with the Minnesota Vikings. Just say if you like the Vikings. You don't train with the football team. You don't work out with the football team. You don't eat with them. You don't do none of, none of the regimen that they do, condition or nothing. Mm -hmm. But when it's time for Sunday, you think you're going to go out there and play when you ain't in shape, <laughs> but you're on a football team. Mm -hmm. How in the hell are you a Christian when you ain't? If you're a football player, you got to go You got to go through all of the training and conditioning to be a football player. Mm -hmm. when, because see, one game they come, you got to be able to perform and be in shape. Mm -hmm. The same mm -hmm. thing, Christian. Well, if you're going to be a Christian, if you go to Acts with the 13 and 1, only the Christians can be the Hebrew Israelites, which we call nigger. Mm -hmm. So how how can you be a Christian when you ain't following none of the most high y'all watch me how shall ways? Man, hey, hey man, y'all, hey, man, hey, y'all finished. Mm -hmm. But hey, look. Hey, look, you want to close out with anything up? Yeah, look, it, it, it boils down to this, people. Uh you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, which make up the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Stay out of those Sunday worship temples, man. Again, like I said, the scripture clearly tells you in the book of Acts 7 and 48, Acts 17 and 24, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's, uh, what is it, uh, Isaiah, Isaiah 66, and I think starting the verse, uh, the, the, the first verse, where the most high dwelleth not in these places, man. He's got in here, man. 66, 66, 66, 66, 66. Okay, but he's one of them. They, he's, he's not in there, man. His spirit dwelleth not in these temples. He's not in there. Uh, again, uh, yeah, gone. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and read it while I got it. Isaiah 66 and 1. And it's saying the same thing as, as uh, Acts 17 48. Uh, Acts, like Acts 7 and 48, Acts 17 and uh, 24. Thus said the Lord, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 66 and verse 1. Thus said the Lord Yahweh, the heaven is my throne. And the earth is my footstool. Where is the house that you build unto me? And where is the place of my rest? So he's not in these Sunday worship temples. He's not in there. So again, like I said, our brothers, the servants, the prophets of the Most High, the apostles and elders, a great millstone, those of them whom we follow, whom we do believe by the spirit and power of the Most High, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, Kakodash, has the true gospel. They're preaching the true doctrine as it is written. And these brothers are preaching 100% truth. 100% of the as Bible. As it is man. written in the scripture. The they come straight out of the Bible with the word as it is written, as the most high Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kakodash, has poured out his spirit upon these brothers to bring forth these gospels, to bring forth the gospel. 100% truth. 
that we may be delivered from the troubles that are to come upon this earth in these last evil days, by which no other gospel shall we be delivered, man. If y'all up in these Sunday worship temples, listening to these Sunday worship, please poke chop eating pastors, these deacon, whatever they call themselves in these churches. We know we've been there. We, yeah, we, 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 we were like that. We were there. We already been there. Y'all can't know what they're that teaching. So we, and we know it's a false doctrine, which is why our spirit didn't bear witness with none of no BS up in these Sunday worship temples. Our spirit bear witness was come, bear witness with what's coming out of these scriptures. And, let, and except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. Come out of these Sunday worship temples. Go on YouTube. YouTube. You got brothers from Great Millstone. Type in GMS. Brothers are popping. I mean, like I said, you'll see videos popping up all around the globe, man. Me and me, me and little brother here. Uriel and Raphael. YouTube. Check, man, like I said, go and let these brothers tell you. I mean, like I said, these, these, we're the end times, man. Now, hopefully one, hopefully one, a hey, one lost sheep. If it's just one. Just one repeat, just one man. listen. Just one. To this video. Hey, look, man, ain't anybody catching a whole basket of fish. Come. Hey, ain't anybody no share, I mean, no likes, how many like us, and how many views. You're about that. Hey, man, just. Not about that at all. Right. We in the end time, man. Come. We in the end, hey, 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 we about to go home, man. Man, this place is, this place is finished, man. This place is done. Like I said before we sign that off. Yeah, that'll be it, all. That'll be hey, it. All praises. Yeah, and with that, we give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Bakakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much respect to the brothers who are pushing the gospel, scattered abroad among the four corners of the earth, who are coming after the teachers of Great Millstone, to the brothers and sisters out there who are scattered abroad among the four corners of the earth, searching and seeking, for uh, gathering faith for treasure in these last and evil days. Again, like I said, we, we pray that y'all repent, man. All of those, those of them who have heard this video, again, like, like I said, you know, if only just one person, it's one. and it's just like fishing, and many of you have been fishing mm -hmm. out there, you can go fishing. You can sit out in the fish creek all day and won't catch nothing. Then some days you might catch one. But all boil down to this, all. Uh, mm hmm Hey, when the calamity started here, man. Hey, man. Y'all don't understand what's going on. Y'all don't understand what's going on. Mm hmm When the calamity hit. Mm hmm When the U.N. soldiers start kicking y'all doors in about 3 coming, 4 o'clock in the morning. They already here. Yeah. So they already the here, man. Call on Jesus then. Mm-hmm. Let's Amen. see if he's going to deliver you from, this, be, from these troubles, man. Everybody get real at the wild. And y'all won't know. That what we were saying, man. The more I send the tell y'all. Mm -hmm. Y'all won't see then. Mm -hmm. It ain't going to be until then. Warn and come before destruction. Until y'all know. Y'all be like, man, them guys weren't crazy, man. Mm -hmm. Them guys weren't crazy. Why mm -hmm. they at? It's going to be too late. It's coming, man. Death yeah. and destruction is coming. At a, at, a, at a city to a city coming, near you such as you've never seen before. Such as none of us yeah. has ever seen before, man. So let's sign that off. Okay. With that, again, like I said, we, we pray that, you know, that y'all take heed to this message. And that if at the very least one hear this message, man, this is your warning for the day. It's your coming. calling today, man. Turn back from your wicked ways. Seek the face of seek the face of the Most High. Repent while you still can. Start keeping these laws, statutes, commandments to the best of your ability. With that, we say shalom. Shalom.